Hey guys, Coach Steven here. Uh, yeah, carrying on for June 18th workout. Uh, we're going into section four. I've had a bit of a recovery period, and now I'm just going to be utilizing the makiwara, which is a more traditional karate training tool, but I mean, it's got a long history of use, probably into the thousands of years. And I don't have the historical proficiency and knowledge to tell you its exact origins. I don't know if anyone could. But yeah, I'm going to be utilizing this tool as a striking aid. So, yeah. Glad I have it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, so just playing around with different mechanics. Here I'm utilizing more of a throw mechanic. Uh, I see I've knocked out my one support plank. I'm going to pause the video because the whip in the, the makiwara is just so it's got a lot more rigidity and a harder faster flex response if it's right so let me try fix that quickly all right carrying on okay so hopefully the plank stays in i can't guarantee it but yeah so as i was saying you there's a lot of different ways to do strike mechanics you know, some of them are very linear and re uh, require a lot of body geometry and extension of one particular line of motion so it's more like a spearing motion where you bringing your body down geometrically on a line that's extended and propelled through on a structured strike line so it's like a spearing line so. You get more throwing kind of mechanic, more like if you would throw a ball, utilizing horizontal shift, utilizing rotation. So there's the step, shift and weight, step, shift and weight, rotation, step, shift, rotate. And you got a counter, well, a drag rotation on the upper rotation up here. So if you imagine hips and shoulders, shoulders rotate through, hips rotate through shoulders drag behind a little bit below the elastic tissue of the body such as the anterior oblique sling as you move loads this tissue wham bring it through so it's more of a throwing mechanic Whoa, focus variations
here. Cover this up. Take the front of the elements. Yeah, so yeah, that's just a little bit of playing around on the Makiwara. Uh, I didn't give much of a verbal description of what I was doing, but yeah, maybe I can edit in afterwards, or hopefully it's self-evident. Uh, you can see, okay, I got a little bit of blood, but this is from early, ah, the other day, you know, working with wood on the other thing and digging in concrete to, took off a bit of the skin. But overall, ooh, lighting's, let's move you guys into the light, hope you can see. Um, you can see no tear torn skin, which is what you want. If you see the skin starts coming off your knuckles, even if it's just the surface there, stop. Stop right away. And it happens quick when you first start using this thing, like really quick. Um, I've had it happen after I think the first three punches. They felt okay, you know, if the bone alignment and everything's okay, bam, 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 feels good. You get like a little bit of a sting on the knuckle and if you're not paying attention, and you hit a couple more times, once that skin starts going, it just whoop, you start tearing that one off completely and you start tearing the lower layers down, you know, two, three punches and you probably have taken it from like a couple days healing to like two weeks healing because it's going to regrow that skin now. Don't do that. <laughs> you know, if need be, you can wear a little bit of protection uh, or you can pad the striking surface a bit more or hit a bit softer, you know, just regulate those variables because you want to get in a bit of hand conditioning you want to be able to feel the different kinetic links now push into the makiwara, feel it flex against you, feel the different kinetic linking drive back feel it, you know, anchor you geometrically into whichever your primary anchor leg is you know, it might be both, and might usually one one primary lock back geometrically like this, like a spearing shape and one support buttress uh, but yeah, it depends on the geometry of your body, the architecture you take, and what the obstacle is that you need to overcome. My hair is getting quite crazy long here in quarantine. Actually, those of you who know me, I normally have a, a more, uh, well, a shorter, neater hair, and a shorter, neater beard, but I'm going Viking style. Why not? Let's see how it goes. Okay, cool guys. Hopefully, picked up a couple things here once again. Feel free to shoot me some questions, comments. Let me know what it is that you're doing, how you use the Makiwara, what supplementary training do you do. Yeah, let's you know teach each other, uh, share what we do, inspire each other, share our passion and our interest for this. And yeah, I know there's a lot of people, some of the best people I've ever met in my life, I met through martial arts. So you guys that love martial arts, tell me what it is that you're doing. Tell me what style, what do you like about it, how are you going into it. Whatever, man, shoot me a message, let's chat. <laughs> cool guys, cheers, much love